think community is the most fundamental core energy of our studio because our belief is literally making art for anyone, any age, any background in the world. I think your technology is a very inspiring process of thinking, a kind of like an extension of human minds, and kind of these these ways of understanding our near future by looking the past and now. It's more about like understanding the fundamentals of technology and its impact on the society and our DNA and gene, and really find a way to use it in a way it's beyond just what it's meant to be. It's more about finding the poetry inside those softwares, hardwares, and systems. This week is for our studio of Freeze LA, specifically inviting friends and people around the world to show behind the scenes what we are trying to say with data, AI, and create experiences around the world and just share as much as behind the scenes. Very inspired Blade Runner, like really, really like in, 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 like in love with this near future Los Angeles. I think as a child, instead of like finding dystopia, I found utopia in Blade Runner. And I think it was a very like, you know, positive expectation about near future, like flying cars in like downtown Los Angeles and media architecture. Last 11 years, never stopped working with data, never stopped imagining public space, using architecture as a canvas as much as we can. So this is an artistic computation that is recognizing the movement in the machine's decisions and taking every single like pet and look at the edge detection and turn them into a truly like a pigment looking texture. So I think independence for me and our studio is being able to imagine freely. For me, art is humanity's capacity of imagination. And as a studio, are I think responsible to push the capacity of this imagination to the edge. And on the edge, we found technology. What you're looking at on this screen here is actually a collection of images. And every image here is plotted in a six-dimensional space. So it's an X, Y, and Z axis, and then a three-color axis as well, right? So R, G, and B. And every image that's really similar to each other is supposed to be next to each other in space. So you can start to visualize what this data looks like in, in different dimensions. I mean, all of that is really incredibly useful information for us to know both from a machine learning side and also from a visual art side as well. Computer graphics is a very important field in our studio. Like we are trying to push all the time being able to render the reality to the lens of machines. That means computer graphics. But GPUs are very fundamental. 2017, we had an incredible collaboration with NVIDIA. We were the very first studio to use RTX, which is this kind of this rendering technique, which was very important because that means our data paintings and sculptures were becoming real time. Like all these breakthroughs in science, in computer science, was also allowing us to become kind of another pioneership around these feelings and experiences. We are extremely careful about our impact on the nature once we use extreme computation. And we try to source, first of all, everything in-house, not to try to use cloud computing. But if you need cloud computing, we look for resources who have like almost like no consumption problems or try to use like natural energy, such as like Google team at the moment trying to like have their net zero expectation. Like try to find those partners who have been purposefully pushing the cloud computing in an ethical way and do always our best to like do things humbly in the studio than in a, like a large scale of like big computations. We work with proof of stake, for example, blockchains to understand the ecosystem versus proof of works. Like we are trying to hear the you know reactions and problems and evaluate what we could do better uh, and ultimately find ways without the cancel and boycott culture. Generative art, like a lot of generative art. I'm extremely into like, um, like on Tezos. I have been like, I have this private wallet that I'm collecting more than 2,000 pieces since last March, maybe the day it became uh, very well known. And since then, I never quit uh, supporting my friends and colleagues, and also collecting personally. Um, I'm very, very inspired by the generative art community. The NFTs and digital art. I mean, for me and for our studio, we always imagine first in the virtual space, like painting with data, sensing what a human brain may feel through the lens of EEG. Like these are already in a virtual space. So we never imagine things in physical world in the first step. So I believe this native imagination in the mind of a machine and a context of the NFT space or blockchain or virtual space was a very natural 
birth. Like it's just very honest and direct. Um, because we always find we always find physical context later, uh, eventually. But to me, what was more inspiring is what happens when physical and virtual connects. And that's, I think, where the value is for our near future. Not necessarily just virtual space, not necessarily just physical space. A purposeful context and discourse of when the two worlds collide.